The flooding may be over, but the relief is far from sight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jennifer Sheehan. And I'm Ben Wilcox. Thanks for choosing WENY HD News at 11. The recovery continues for people in veteran and surrounding towns who were hit by the flooding a few weeks back. They met again tonight for a flood workshop looking for more answers from officials. But what are their options to stop this from happening again? WNY HD's Kelly Meyer was at the meeting and joined us live in the studio with the story. Kelly, what were people saying at the meeting? Jennifer, it was another long and heated meeting, but people did leave with some answers. The flooding may be over, but for people like Esther Munson in Pine Valley, the road to recovery is a long one. I would classify it the worst that has come down through since the 40s. Esther and many others met once again at Veteran Town Hall for an informational workshop. Mark Watts, district manager for Sherman County Soil and Water, gave the presentation, showing photos from the flood and giving some options so this doesn't happen again. Our options were going to be that we remove Clare Street Bridge to remove a restriction, which was one, something they didn't support, so that's fine. Uh, the next thing we'd like to do is reconnect a stream to the floodplain, so we remove some gravel berms, working with the state, maybe build a better berm closer to the homes to protect them. People at the meeting don't want to dredge or see Clare Street Bridge removed. Their suggestion, simply cleaning of the creeks. But were they happy with the answers they got? A lot was accomplished tonight, I think. A new idea was to put together a drainage committee to help clear out the streams which was something people at the meeting could all agree with. But the committee getting together is headed in the right direction so that we're all pulling together instead of going into 10 different directions. Watt says they have permits to start cleaning under Clare Street and Smith Road and hope to start that next week. They'll have another meeting on Thursday, September 5th at 7 p.m. Kelly Meyer, WENY HD News.